Hello yeah, everyone, my name is Picky and welcome back to the Bucky Place SMP. I am playing with this server for few episodes now and the only thing I have in my base is this starter house. Even I really like this build, I believe that it will be time to start constructing some more buildings. In near future I will need a lot of cores for some future projects. And for that I will need to build my villager training hall because I don't really want to grind cores in the nether, it is quite painful. So I will build my villager training hall and trade with villagers. And for that I will need villagers. So today I am going to build my villager breeder. And over here after I clean this area a little bit I will have a lot of space. So I will that I will build my villager breeder over here. And this breeder is designed by Logical Geek Boy, so if you want to build it, go and check him out. And I already have my materials ready, so I believe that it will be time to start cleaning this area and building this villager breeder. And just like that our villager breeder is done. We are just missing one real important thing for this villager breeder to work and this is villagers. So it is time for one of the top 5 most annoying things to do in Minecraft and this is transporting villagers. I will open one side like that and build a little staircase and go find my villagers. I actually know where the ghost village is so I need to take some stuff and go for the villagers. I just need to craft few power rails, some regular rails and I need to take a boat. And now we can find our villagers. And here is the village and the villagers and now I need to find a way to transfer them to my base. I will try with the boat. Can you please go in the boat? Can I play the boat? Yes. And now we go. And the most annoying thing ever when you can't go over at this part block. This is so annoying. Let's try again. Maybe over here. Over here. Yes. Thing. Excuse me, sir. You can't go together. One out, please. Now it's better, don't ask me how I got rid of the other villager, don't worry, he's alive. I will need to make a little bit of space, I'll fix this later, and go in the ocean. He is really enjoying this ride. Uh, on the left side we have painter GG's starter base, and in front we have my base, where you will be locked for the rest of your life. Now the difficult part, how to get him from over here? to over there in my villager breeder and I think that the best bet is to place my rails on the floor and get him in the minecart. Rails are in place and now I need to somehow get him in the minecart and I will build a wall around him because I really don't want him to, to escape. I really don't want to hunt them around my base so I will just in case build a wall around so he can't escape. I at least hope that he can't escape. Can I go like this? Yes, I can. Now I need to bring to break this boat and hope that he get jump, please. A few moments later. We got him. Now I need to remove this dirt and push him on the rails. One more. And the villager breeder is officially done and it actually started to produce villagers as soon as I brought the second villager inside 
And now only thing left to do is to build the house around this village breeder because I don't want this to look this plain and boring. I want to build the house around this breeder to look, it, to look a little bit better. And I already have all my materials ready for this build so it is time for a time lapse. And the build is done. It is just a nice little house for my villagers. I was going for a similar type of style like my starter house with some 1.17 blocks. I was using a little bit of deep slate, a little bit of wall berries that looks really nice. And inside I have my villager breeder. And it's actually quite efficient. I already have a few villagers. I have 8 fully grown villagers and 2 babies and it didn't took me too long to build this house so this villager breeder is quite efficient and I really like it. And now when I'm done with this build I actually have one more project for this episode. In last episode I built this shop where I'm selling my leaves and dark oak logs and as you can see I didn't sow too much of these leaves. I have sold some of this dark oak and in last episode you could see that I actually sold entire stock of this dark oak but that's actually it and on the other side I have some more leaves and recently I placed these dice over here and I actually already have uh, some sales even I didn't told anyone that I have this over here so I believe that it is time to build another shop where I am actually going to sell whatever I could and for the start I am going to sell dice and I was busy off camera so I built this flower farm, I built this cactus farm and I built a cocoa bean farm for my dice and I also built a skeleton farm. So down over here is my skeleton farm for a bone meal because I need a lot of bone meal to run this flower farm and a cocoa bean farm and now I have everything to produce every type of dye except black dye. And once again I was busy off camera and already collected full shocker box of every single type of dye so I can start selling them right away when I build my shop and I believe that now it would be time to go to the shopping district and see where I have space to build my shop and I think that I will build my new shop next to my leaf shop somewhere over here in the fantasy district and if you think what I mean by fantasy district these blue lines are presenting the fantasy district so our shopping district is separated in few uh, sections so over here is fantasy district over uh, there is modern district and then this is medieval district and so on so on so that not every shop is the same building style and i already built my first shop in the fantasy district and my next shop is also going to be fantasy themed somewhere over here i will just need to terraform this area a little bit and start building my shop i already have all my materials ready so it is time for another time lapse And my new shop is done. It is kind of fantasy built. I have this tree growing from the side of the house 
and I used a little bit of prismarine and warp wood for the roof so I believe that we can call this a fantasy build and I already finished my interior so it looks like this I have all my dice over here I already stacked everything and I already have some sales even someone needed these dice immediately and on the top four I still don't have too much things I just have over here some cobalt this deep slate and glass and dark oak I had this dark oak in my leaf shop but I believe that this shop is going to have a little bit more uh, traffic so I bring uh, the dark oak logs over here and I might stack, stack some more stuff over here I just need to see what people would buy and what I can offer and now we have two shops one next to each other and I believe that it will be enough for now I don't think that I will build new shops anytime soon I can just stack some more items over here if needed that's why I didn't specify this shop for certain things I didn't specify it just for dice because I will sell some more things and I love this freedom too so I can just sell whatever I have and whatever I want and I believe that it will be time to end this episode. In this episode we had a lot of work and a lot of fun. We built our villager breeder, bring our villagers inside and built this shop and already stack it and got some diamonds. So it was a really fun episode and see you in the next one. Bye!